Hello and welcome to Europa Universalis for the Third Rome, where we are playing as Muscovy, and we are our goal is to put a Romanov in Rome, or at least Constantinople, and make Russia truly the third incarnation of the Roman Empire. Uh, we are in the process, I believe, if I remember, we must have just integrated somebody. <laughs> I think we're about to go to war with Novgorod again to finish them off, if I'm if I'm remembering correctly. Yeah. So, let's go ahead and declare war. Um, their largest remaining province, or rather one that's close to us that we can seize quickly for a war goal. Uh, Kargopol. Yeah, let's declare war for Kargopol. We'll make that the war goal. And, uh, yeah, we'll call in our vassal swarm and we will... Finish off our rival to the Russian hegemony. Um, not too worried about that stack. Yeah, these guys should keep the general. And uh, you guys... I don't know, you can come chill up in St. Petersburg for now. I'm gonna go down to speed 3 since we are at war. That is the designated war speed. War Speed sounds like it would be a very cool band. Um, alrighty. So, this should be a very short and very non, uh, non-suspenseful war. <laughs> I think we've, uh, we've basically got him dead to rights here. So, we're gonna do this. We're gonna wait for White Corellia to be sieged down. And then we're gonna pincer move them here. We're gonna have this guy go siege Cola. Probably take some attrition. Although it is July, maybe he won't. Yeah, actually, Cola has a decent a decent supply limit in the summer. Believe it or not. Let's see, we can tech up in military, and we're not taking any military ideas right now, so we might as well do that. That'll let us start building cannons, which are awesome. And yeah, I guess we just gotta siege this down. Supply limit's high enough that we can stay here at least till winter. Uh, merchants are suffering, we will support those merchants. 10 Diplo power is a small price to pay. Cola has come under our occupation. Yelets has... Oh, yeah, because we're converting Yelets. We'll send a regiment down there to deal with that um, unrest. Our next highest unrest is negligible, so we'll just keep these guys in Cargopol to collect loot. I think that was a stack wipe of the remaining Novgorodian army. Velazeros embraced the Renaissance. That's good for them. Did we get the... Uh... Cool. We have all of our provinces have embraced the Renaissance. So we completed that objective. Um, gained a trade dispute against Lithuania. By the way... Let's see. We're buttering up Velazeros so we can annex them, right? And Odeyev. Yeah, so we'll 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 let that finish, and then we're gonna. We really need another diplomat, is what we need, because I want to start um, getting Sweden over onto our good side. Because, well, we'll explain when we get there, really. But uh, in order, oh wow, well, we have a new Grand Kniaz. He's pretty decent, except militarily. When we, when we actually get to the age of the um, Reformation, that's where we can trigger the event chain that gives us a Romanov leader. But we need um, we need to we need to actually have a disaster fire for that to happen. Um, so let's see. I think we've yeah. I mean, I guess we can force them to revoke cores. It's not going to cost us any additional Diplo power. Get rid of all of Novgorod's cores. Alright. Boom. We have conquered Novgorod. We have finished the mission. Um, we can tech up in Diplo. We have cores we need to make. They're all super cheap. Um, 
We'll wait until our overextension is down to... Reliance on Streltsy. I didn't even raise any Streltsy. Where do we have Streltsy? I don't think I raised a single Streltsy regiment. I have no Streltsy. Why are you telling me I'm reliant on the Streltsy? Oh. Pskov apparently raised some Streltsy. Um, we're going to disband those Streltsy. Even though they give us... I think they give us like a 10%... Bonus to fire, maybe? Fire damage bonus? Yeah. We don't we don't need those. I'm gonna try to rely on the Streltsy as little as possible. I'm gonna use that as like an emergency, like, oh shit button. Um Intervene between great powers. Castile and Aragon are fighting France and the Ottomans, so we can intervene on the Castilian side. I don't think that is in our interest. Um, incorporate Below Zero. Let's do that. Um, and yeah, we'll just we'll make a triangle here of um, revolt suppression stacks in case we need them. So, enable suppression, enable suppression, and then once we get those cores made, we can go after, um, go after someone else. Do we have a CB on the Great Horde right now? Humiliate Rival, that's not really what we want. Um... Yeah, I'll start, I'll start building a spy network here. So we don't have religious ideas yet. Trading in fur! Fantastic. Oh, we can probably pay off a loan. No loans. Cool. Um, forts. We probably don't need this fort at Novgorod. Um... Let's see, let's see how this pans out when, okay, our men are, are, are reinforced fully. Do we have, we do have a full brace of advisors. How far are we from being, or pretty close to being able to reform the Sedebnik, so. I think once we make these cores and reform the Sedebnik, that should stop our income from bleeding so much. Really, we should be getting a lot of, um... A lot of, uh, why are we not getting progress towards this? Plus six to the pool at the start of the year, not the start of the month. Okay. Yeah, we should be getting a lot of trade income now, because we now control, like, maybe it's it's worth seeing if we should move our, our um, merchants around. Still want to collect in Novgorod, we still want to transfer in Kazan. Yeah, I think that's exactly where we want to keep it, actually. Diplomatic dispute. Alright. Unhappiness among the merchants. Um, yeah, we're going to have to upset the burgers. Core, 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 core. Got one more core to make. And cola. I might sell cola to Sweden. I don't really want it, actually. See if Sweden or Norway will buy it from us. Popular religion. There's always been some discrepancy between the religion actually taught and defended by the clergy and the actual faith of the people in the provinces. This is actually very true for Russia during this time period. Um, still true a little, to some degree today, especially among um, the Mariel people, um, who are technically the last practicing pagans in Europe. Um, they have an unbroken pagan tradition uh, that's syncretized heavily with Russian Orthodoxy, but uh, very interesting if you ever get a chance to read about them. Um, most of the time, the differences are small enough that the clergy chooses to ignore them and instead focus on reinforce the more orthodox spiritual ideas of the people. It seems, however, that certain ideas that are quite unorthodox, if rooted in old traditions, have begun to spread together with the orthodox faith among our non-orthodox subjects. The resulting mix of old heathen ideas, popular superstitions, and the actual orthodox itself 
has been quite too much for the clergy to stomach, even if it seems to have made conversion a much more attractive proposition for the Athenian subjects. Um, let's see, so we can gain tolerance of the true faith and the clergy's happy, or we can get missionary strength and the clergy is mad. I'm going to let this run its course. And we will make a generous donation to the church so that they are not mad at us anymore. And that will speed up our conversion process here. We get minus one interest from our idea group. Fall behind an admin, but that's okay. And let's reform the Sedebnik. Minus ten autonomy in all provinces. Um, all right. So we're going to wait for this to tick up to 90 before we use our free rebel suppression power. So let's see. Make sure that this is refreshing correctly. 24.9 per month. That, okay, so that's ticked up. So we're going to go ahead and press our Oprichnina button. Reduce all rebel progress. And let's see, we're still kind of going into debt a little bit. We're not over our force limit. We're not over our naval limit. We actually haven't built any bo boats at all. Um, this is a super cavalry heavy army here. So, hmm. I think, I think let's just go to war with the Great Horde. So we're gonna fabricate a claim. Let's say eight development, nine development, nine. So Tombov. Fabricate a claim on Tombov. All right, and let's go march to war against our former oppressors, the Mongol hordes, who we had to pay tribute to for oh so long. Um, they probably have higher supply limits, so we might even get away. We, yeah, we can probably get away with 16 stacking. Let's see, in December, yeah, we could totally get away with 16 stacking. Down in these balmier climates. Gain conquest against the Mongol hordes. We might even be able to just subjugate them. Uh, and then Diplo annex them later, since we're using up a lot of our manpower right, or our, um, admin power right now, and we don't want a coalition. Twelve four cavalry. I think we can probably probably tweak that a little bit. Let's do a ten six. Send me two units of horses. Stratoyotoy. Stra Stratioti cavalry? I don't know what these guys are actually. Do they have a special. Oh, it's a Cossack. Okay. It's a Cossack regiment. Stra the the Stratioti is just the tech level that we're at. I am. Uh, I, am a, I am having a dumb at the moment. Um, can we summon any more Cossacks? Um, can expand the Cossack Register. See, their loyalty is currently at 49. So let's see, yeah, let's, let's expand the Register. And that's still not quite enough. Oh, we can do it again on the, on the 4th of May of this year. Which would drop their loyalty. Oh, it would drop it. Yeah, it would still drop it below the threshold that I'm comfortable with, I think. Eh. Yeah, we'll wait. We'll wait and get some more Cossacks. So this stack has one Cossack. This stack has three, so we'll move one of these guys over here. So we're going to do 10-6. This is 10-4. like we can get an ability. Um, 
Colonies finish, cavalry to infantry ratio, war taxes cost. Yeah, we want to do the ag expansion one first. Oh, did we already buy that? Oh, I guess we already bought that. So yeah, let's do minus five unrest. Feudal de jure law. Since, oh yeah, we're very close to having a Novgorodian separatist revolt, so maybe we should wait to go to war until that's dealt with. Um, or I would just suppress it using military power, but we're behind in Miltech, and we're not to the point where we're going to get free absolutism from that yet, so I don't want to... I don't really feel like it. Alright, so we got these guys. Two Cossack regiments, and... Let's see, did it say we could use that ability now? Raise Cossack host, 4th of May. All right, there we go. So we raised a Cossack host. Guessing it's these guys, yeah. All right, so each of these stacks should have three Cossacks. Perfect, and 10, five, 10, five. They just need one more regular cavalry each. And I wonder if the Cossack units are different from the default Russian cavalry, if that's what they always... Well, no, these are non-Cossacks, so yeah, that would, that would be different. Um, yeah, we should probably handle the Novgorodian separatists first. In the meantime, we can get more claims on their shit. Um... So let's see, where is the heart of the rebellion? Oh, Yelets is also a basket case right now. Um, Cola, really? Cola? There's gonna be a rebellion in Cola? Sweden, bro. Brosif, um, I wanna sell you a province. Sell province. Can't sell provinces to subjects. Okay, well, I guess we have to wait till they break free of Denmark to do that. This will just remain a shitty territory where <laughs> everyone is unhappy until then. Okay, and we're capped out on manpower, so that's no excuse to go to war. Um, or to not go to war. Soroka Onega Karelia. They're uh, pretty equal. Cargapole, White Corellia. Uh, was Olenets on there? Or did we take that earlier? Olenets is not on there. Let's just send him to Olenets. And we'll just put him on Rebel Suppression, and that should be good. Probably. Iron Ore Quality Problems. Oh, you have Iron Ore Quality Problems. 21 to 26. How do we have an odd number of cavalry? Let's build another one of those. 22. Save the rest for Cossacks. Just building up a slightly higher force limit here. I like being at my force limit when possible. <laughs> 